Mom, long time no talk. Listen. You Taka! What's wrong with you? You know what your brother's going through right now? Why aren't you doing anything to help? Huh? What happened? He can't find a good job. And he's still single. He seems so sad. He still doesn't have a job? He's just waiting for the right opportunity. He says he wants to be a lawyer someday, just like his father. He's not a loser like you. You work in construction, right? <laughs> Pathetic. He's just waiting for the right opportunity. You'll see. Uh, okay, but he's 30, unemployed, and single. He should probably try harder. And so what if I work in construction? It's a big company. Stop talking like that. Whatever. Listen, Mom, I need to tell you something. What? I'm getting married. Uh, you? Getting married? What are you saying? You can't do that. Huh? What do you mean I can't? You never cared about me. Whatever. I gotta go. What's your problem, huh? You can't do this to your brother. You can't get married before him. What? Seriously? Why does that matter? He's older than you. That's why. Do as I say. Got it? Uh, no, not really. Once your brother gets married, you can do whatever you want. But until then, no marriage. Ugh. You're in your 30s already. Stop acting like a kid. Actually, I'm still 27. And you can't tell me what to do. I'm a grown man now. Oh, be quiet. I'm your mother. You wouldn't be here if it weren't for me. You understand that? What? I own you. Uh, seriously? Yes. I'm your mother. You're my property. You hear me? Do as I say. You're unbelievable. Quiet. Just do as I say. Look, you guys never cared about me. Why start now? Stop talking back to me. Oh, you're not a kid anymore. Growing up, all you two cared about was my brother. You never cared about me. That's not my fault. You weren't worth it, that's all. What? You heard me. Your brother was always smarter than you. He was the horse to bet on. That's why we never paid attention to you. Your brother got all of our good genes. But you, you got all our bad genes. What did you expect? So this is all my fault? Uh, of course. Duh. Ugh. I can't believe you two are related. Whatever. Honestly, I wish I never had you. You're a disappointment. All right. I've heard enough. We're done here. Don't contact me ever again. Bye. You talker! Long time no talk. Why did you reach out to me? I thought you never wanted to hear from me again. I work with Mr. Hamaguchi. I had no idea you two knew each other. And you're the one that texted me. You asked him over and over again for my number, didn't you? He told me everything. How do you even know him? Oh, he's an old friend of mine. Don't worry about it. Ugh, whatever. What do you want? Oh, right. Yutaka, I heard you were on TV. You live in a big condo, right? Uh, yeah? What do you mean I was on TV? Oh, I knew it. Your brother said he saw you on TV. He wants you to switch houses with him. We sent his stuff to your place yesterday. What? Why didn't you tell us? Oh, you should have told us. If it weren't for your brother, we never would have found out. Oh, good thing he doesn't have a day job. He's still out of a job? Wow. He's just waiting for the right opportunity. It takes time and patience. He's just leeching off of you guys. Isn't Dad retiring soon? Oh, that. We, we don't need him anymore. What? We got you, so... Huh? We saw your condo. It's nice. You were being interviewed. Looks like you're doing quite well for yourself. Interview? They were asking you about the condo? Oh, that. 
It's got a swimming pool and a 24-hour gym, right? Oh, it's, it's too much for you, but your brother would love it. Unlike you, he's really talented, so his stuff should be arriving there soon. Get your stuff and move out. Uh, it's not here. What are you saying? Check again. He looked up your address and everything. Don't open his stuff, though. I said it's not here. What? It has to be. We got your room number and everything. You sure about that? Uh, uh, hold on, let me check. Listen, tell him to live within his means. Uh, how dare you talk to him like that? Take that back. He's going to do great things with his life. You'll see. It's been more than 30 years. Wake up. How dare you apologize? He's a leech. He never worked a day in his life. And he's always making excuses. Face it, he's a loser. How can you not see that? What did you say? You heard me. And now you're trying to leech off of me? You're just as bad as him. You realize that? Oh, whatever. I don't care. Look, his stuff should be arriving there soon. It, just help him out, okay? Come on, we're family. Uh, no we're not. What? And that condo that you saw on TV? I don't live there. What? I live in a condo, but not that one. The one you saw on TV? My dad's company built it. It was part of the project. That's why they were interviewing me. What? And wait, what do you mean your dad's company? Your dad doesn't work in construction. What are you saying? Oh, that. I'm talking about my father-in-law. They're my family now, not you guys. Are you serious? Remember what you told me a few years ago? You said, I wish I never had you. That's like the worst thing you could say to a child. You're a terrible person. Really hurt me, you know? I tried to forget about it, but it wasn't easy. Then I met my wife and her parents. They were so kind to me. They helped me get to where I am today. I owe them everything. They're my real family now. You're just a stranger to me, so... But you wanted this, right? You said it yourself, remember? Oh, just stop it. Do as I say, okay? Oh, you never listen to me. That's why you're a loser. Right, whatever you say. That's why I live in a big condo and your son is still living in your house. Ugh. If he wants to live in a condo, go see a real estate agent. Oh, but wait. He's broke and unemployed, right? Might be kind of tough. <laughs> Good luck! They tried to find me after that. But it was a big city, and now I have a different last name, so they were out of luck. I guess they're stuck in that shithole they call home. Oh well. As for me, I finally had a loving family and a place I could call home. My father-in-law was a tough boss, but he was a kind man. And my mother-in-law was always smiling. And my wife, she made my life complete. It was a great feeling. Glad everything worked out.